don't know where the call come from. It's not every day you see something like that. No, it isn't. Video of a woman smashing a windshield in Coleman is going viral on social media. We first showed you this on the CBS 42 News at 6 o'clock. That woman arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. Now, new tonight, CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark actually talked to the man who recorded that video. Michael is live in Coleman tonight. Now, I understand the cameraman is also playing the role of Good Samaritan. Yeah, that's right, Jim. Scott Sams got out his cell phone to record when he saw that woman using a shovel to pummel the man's windshield, later using her foot to kick in the glass. All that's been fixed now, thanks to the man who recorded that video. Here we go. I got it on video. This will be for the cops. Scott Sams didn't expect to see a woman repeatedly smashing and kicking out a man's windshield during his lunch break and was even more surprised it's been viewed around 100,000 times. I was holding my nephew in my hand in Subway and looked over and... The chaos begun. Sam's and others watched from a nearby business. Just let her have fun. It ain't worth getting involved. As the woman climbed the car and shattered the glass, it appears she's on the phone while Sam's recorded it all. Instinctively, I'd recorded it in case we saw an actual crime being committed against a human being, you know, and we realized it was just property damage. We just kind of let her go. The price of a new windshield, a few hundred bucks, but Sam says he learned the car's owner received the vehicle from his father who had just passed away. So Sam has offered to pay for the man's repairs through his business at Freedom Motors. We're blessed and we do our best to try to help people when we can. He was at work trying to trying to make a living and that happens to him while he's trying to make money and so we just try to do our part to help him out. Barbara Emily Lowry is charged with disorderly conduct, according to Coleman Police. The car owner would only tell CBS 42 News by phone that Lowry is a, quote, old friend. He declined to say what may have led up to the windshield smashing that has everyone buzzing in Coleman. It's not every day you see something like that. Now, Lowry was arrested on that disorderly conduct charge, but has bonded out of jail, according to staff there. Reporting live in Coleman tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.